Miss Magda at the Turner Free Library and today we're reading Leonardo the Terrible Monster by one of our favorites Mo Willems. Leonardo was a terrible monster. He couldn't scare anyone. He didn't have 1,642 teeth like Tony. Note, not all the teeth are shown, just so you know. You wanna count each one of them. He wasn't big like Eleanor. And he wasn't just plain weird like Hector. The zany hat. Leonardo tried very hard to be scary, but he just wasn't. One day, Leonardo had an idea. He would find the most scaredy cat kid in the whole world and scare the tuna salad out of him. Leonardo researched until he found the perfect candidate. Sam. <laughs> He's a good scaredy cat. Leonardo snuck up on the poor unsuspecting boy. <laughs> I'll show him. Grr, roar, ha, waggle, waggle, waggle. And the monster gave all that he had until the little boy cried. Yes, cheered Leonardo. I did it. I finally scared the tuna salad out of somebody. Um, no you didn't, snapped Sam. Oh, oh yeah, replied Leonardo. Then why are you crying? My mean big brother stole my action figure out of my hands while I was still playing with it and then he broke it on purpose and it's my favorite toy and I tried to fix it but I couldn't and I got so mad and I kicked the table and I stuck my toe and on the same foot that I heard last month when I accidentally slipped in the bathtub after I got sloping my eyes trying to wash out the bird poo that my brother's cockatoo pooped on my head and I don't, I don't, I don't have my friends and my tummy hurt. That's why. Then Leonardo made a very big decision. It's okay. Instead of being a terrible monster, he would become a wonderful friend. Like, oh, Leonardo and Sam are friends now. But that didn't mean that he couldn't try to scare his friend every once in a while. Boo! Ah! <laughs> and now he can also scare him too. The end. I hope you enjoyed that one.